Set operation intersection. So an intersection is a combination of two sets of information. And the way I always think about it is sort of the intersection of two streets. Okay? When you talk about the intersection, that's really where those two things come together. Okay? You have two roads, wherever they're coming from doesn't matter, wherever they're going doesn't matter, but the intersection itself is just what those two things have in common. Okay? Same exact idea comes into effect with numbers. Okay? So let's look here. Here we have a bunch of sets each with four different numbers. So A is a couple even numbers, B is a couple odd, and C is just some numbers in the middle. And intersection is always designated by this upside down U. Okay? And so what we're looking for in this example is the intersection of A and C. We're looking for numbers that are in both A and C in that intersection there. So if you look at it, say, okay, A has a number two, but C doesn't. So therefore, it's not in the intersection. A has a number four, 4 is in C, so therefore that is in that intersection. So we can include 4. Okay, going down the row, 6. 6 is in A, 6 is in C, so that is in the intersection as well. 8 is in A, it's not in C, so it's not in the intersection. Okay, those are really the only numbers that are in there because we ha C has the numbers 3 and 5, but we already determined those aren't in A. So they cannot be in the intersection as well. So the intersection of A and C are just the numbers 4 and 6. Okay, let's look at another example. Say the intersection of A and B. So here we're looking for the numbers that A and B have in common. Beginning we said that A is even and B is odd. So is there any way for these two sets to share anything? No, because they're completely different numbers. So what you may see is different ways of writing this. You can either see what they call the open set, which is just basically two brackets with nothing in it, or you may also see a null set circle with a cross through it. Two different ways of writing the exact same thing. Another way your teacher may describe intersection is with the Venn diagram. Okay, so say we have two sets of data, A and B. The intersection is what these two share. So where these two actually overlap. And in this case, A is everything over here, B is everything over here. What they share is just this little teeny sliver in the middle. Okay? So another way of looking at it, what these two sets share is what's in that middle right there. And there is intersection.